Hi, my name's Jane. Um, today I'm going to explain the Teacher Tracker tool, also known as the T3. So the first thing you will need to do is go to your emails and search for the Teacher Tracker tool and download the tool. Once you download the tool, you need to open it with Adobe DC. You will notice that there are blue text boxes here. If it's not blue and this is white, um, that means that you're not with open in Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. So please check that. Here you can simply enter your student's name or the person that you're observing and you enter your name, um, what they're teaching, who their mentor teacher is, the date, their subject, year level, etc. And if you've seen their lesson plan. Then here we have the links to the tools. The first one um, is the descriptive notes. So you just click on that. You have on the left hand side um, the make say do right. And here you're specifically looking at the teacher. So we abbreviate teacher to T. Um, teacher greets the students as they enter the classroom. Um, S is abbreviated for students. So, and then over here you have what the students are doing. And what you're looking for is to see exactly what the teachers are doing and then what the students are doing and looking for patterns. Then you might have here, teacher writes the learning intention on the board. And then you might have over here that three students are chatting and throwing paper. So then you can look at how, what could we do if this was a pattern of behavior? How would we fix this um, to make this work better for the teacher candidate? So you're just tracking again what the teacher's doing and what the students are make say do right. In the class debrief at the end, then you can discuss what is going on. It shouldn't be judgmental feedback. It should be purely looking at what the data is and having a conversation about that. So once we've filled out that, um, that table, you can always go back to the top to fill in this box here, um, what you filled out for the day, because there's lots of pages. You don't want the TC to have to keep going through the whole document. Rather, you just tick what you have filled out for the TC and they can just look up these, these pages. Over on the right hand side are the AITSL standards. So when the TC completes their lesson plan, they might um, select a number of these and you can put in which ones they are looking at. You can then write feedback about um, each of those standards if you wish. Once you've finished filling in a section, you can always use these links here to go back to the top um, or go to any of the other sections. So if we go back to the top, you can look here at the other things that you can do. We have here um, a, a classroom layout. So what you can do is you just find your classroom layout, whatever that might be. Um, horseshoe, vertical benches, yeah, so there's lots of different classroom layouts. You pick the layout that suits you and then you can scroll. First thing you can do is you could put the time that you start and obviously at the end you put the end time. So now that you've got your classroom layout, you've put the time in, over here are your tables and you can put the names of the students that are sitting on each table and you can enter them in um, what happens is when you enter them here they automatically go down here sometimes they take a little bit of time and you need to press enter so once you've got the names in or you don't have to have the names been in but it helps your, you go to comment mode over here on the right hand side, it's like a comment bubble, you click on that and that gives you all of these tools up the top here. What we'll mainly focus on today is the pen, um, changing colour, 
and entering a comment bubble over here. So first of all, we're going to draw, so we'll press the pen, and we're going to just highlight who the teacher is talking to. Now I'm looking at that color, and that's not great. So I'd like to change that color. Pick on the, click on the highlight button, click on the lines I would like to change, and then I'll go over to the color and choose a, a color that's easier to see. And then simply just keep going, tracking who the teacher is talking to. If the teacher has finished whole class teaching um, and then you want to track where the teacher moves around the classroom, you, you can easily change the color. So all you need to do is click on this icon and press the color that you want to change it to and then start drawing. So you can show where the teacher is moving around. Alright, so that's this layer. Or alternatively, you can do a separate chart for proximity and you can just show where the teacher moves around the room and you might look for patterns. Do they keep going back to their desk? Do they help a student go back to the desk? Or are they always helping Shaz? Or is it Mick? So you're just simply tracking the students, uh, the teacher, candidate or colleague, where they move. And then you simply have a conversation at the end about what's going on. So that's the, this is the proximity chart and that's the verbal flow. And this one here, we kind of did a hybrid of the both. Another feature of, the, of this verbal flow chart is, and proximity is that you can add comment bubbles. And you, so say Shaz asks a great question, you could write the question down, what is precipitation? Teacher asks, do you remember what we looked at last lesson and so forth. So you can track what's being said, how the teacher responds, does she write or does he or she write this on the board um, and you can just have a discussion about that. You post it and then you can move this over so it's with Shaz and you can see that you can open that. So you can have multiples of these. You can also put them for the teacher when during whole class instruction. So you can kind of do make say do right in conjunction with this, this tool here. All right. If you make a mistake when you are drawing here, say you're coming here and you you think, oh, no good, they didn't actually go there, you can press Control-Z and that will undo. Once you're done, you put the end time in and then you can go back up to the top and you will see here um, there is a um, link to the discussion. but before we get to that, let's look at the checklist. So here is your checklist. And by no means do you have to do all of these um, tables in one class. You would possibly just pick one or two or else the feedback might be overwhelming for the person you're observing. So here, all we're looking at is whether something is observed or not observed and if it's not applicable. And all you do, if you notice that um, the teacher candidate has whole class attention, you just simply click observed, not observed, was there an entry task and you can make comments. You might like to write what the learning intention was over here, um, whether they use success criteria or not and you just follow this down. So the second section is looking at whole class teaching and again you just write observed or not observed and you can simply have 
a discussion about this. If you accidentally click observed when you thought that you should have clicked not observed, all you have to do is click again and um, you can click that button. There is a section on questioning. So if that was the focus of their lesson, um, you could put that in here. Then you have the lesson debrief. So what happens at the end of the lesson was there um, a review of the work? Um, was there an exit technique used? Um, do they explain what's going to happen next lesson? Here is simply a section for notes. And once you've done that, you can then go back to the top. Teacher candidate may have said, oh, I would like you to focus on classroom management, or it could be whole class teaching, feedback, exit, any number of things. You can pick here and select that. So you might go differentiation, um, or you can alternatively type over here uh, another one that they have chosen and you can write that there if it's not in that list. There are also links to the VIC curriculum and the VCE study design there. Here, the EITSL standards um, and that table I spoke about earlier, what's been completed. If you have run out of room, there's also room at the end for extra notes. And there's the different layouts. If it's PE and it's open space, you can use this. Um, also, if you don't know, if it's in a primary school and there's lots um, of movement in the classroom, what you might be able to do is just write down the students' names um, and then track who the teacher is talking to there. So you don't have to keep track if they keep moving all the time. And if you're seeing patterns like this, you might be having a conversation about um, would there be a chance for the students to talk to each other? Yep. So the last thing we're going to look at is the discussion. So you may not have time to complete this discussion um, and sometimes you have to run off to another class to teach and that's fine. This is just a guide of questions that you could use to discuss with the person you've observed. Um, so for example, what, what did you find interesting? Do you see any patterns in the data? So you're just talking to the person and asking them what do they notice? Um, and then question two is, uh, how do you think the lesson went for them? Uh, what worked? How do you know it worked? Three is looking at the evidence, success criteria, linking back to the learning intention. Four, thinking about, okay, what would you do next um, and planning that. Uh, question five, the focus of the next lesson. And six, what strategies could you employ? And then some questions at the end about the, the tool. There's also a problem shooting section. So down the bottom of the document, it has um, just a lot of suggestions and help on how to change colour and things that we've covered in this instructional video. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to talk about is saving the Teacher Tracker tool. So like any document, you go to File and then Save As. So you need to pick um, a different file. Um, so that you've changed it from your master because you want to keep being able to use your master. Um, and you might just put the date in and click save. Then it's so easy to email to the mentor teacher and the person that you've observed. Thank you for watching. Happy teaching.